Hey guys, am I putting this off to the literal last day in the last hour of November? Yes. <laughs> I've actually been hyping this up for a few times in the last few videos I've made. Kind of, yes. Is it probably not going to live up to the expectation? Probably, yes. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Cringe of the Month, where today's topic is a movie that isn't even out yet, but I don't even have to see it. I just have to watch the first trailer. More than likely the only trailer for this piece of movie. Coming up next month, around Christmas time, it's called Christmas Switch. This movie is by far the most basic, scratch barrel, just copy and paste Christmas movie of all time. This is just going off a two minute trailer. I can figure out the whole damn movie, and so can everyone else. You wanna know why? Here's the freaking plot. You got the dysfunctional family around Christmas time. I could end it right there. There's your plot. It gets better and it gets worse, truly. The mom and the dad promised their children the uh, overachieving sports daughter and the gaming guy, gaming son, or some both stupid introverted son who they both want nothing to do with their parents because they both think they're lame. God, I'm getting sick just thinking about this plot. They said we're going to do something family-related Christmas this year. We're going to do something as a family this year. God almighty. It, I'm, I, I'm actually getting a headache from talking about how basic this plot is. We get, a, we get to the point where the mother, the father, the son, and the daughter all say, Oh, I wish you knew how hard my life was. Come on. Seriously, that, that trope. The, I wish you knew how hard my life was is that is probably my second most hated movie trope number one is long lost family members whether it be siblings or whether it be parental figures long lost insert family here is something I hate with a burning passion I even hated it when I was a kid watching cartoons and they would do this stupid crap. I hated it so much. And I have just as much hatred for the I wish you knew how hard my life was. So next morning, of course, we get the mom swapped with the daughter and the father swapped with the son. The son now having to find out how hard his dad works, how the daughter how hard his mom works, and the can rinse repeat, I'm getting sick. Do I have the g mischief unveils shockingly? And I guarantee you by the end, it's all solved by them saying, I love you and I now care about what you do and just zap! Family's back to get back to normal. I swear to God. This is not a long cringe of the month because it doesn't need to be a long cringe of the month. I don't have to go into an hour discussing the actors and actresses, the plot of this movie, the resolution, effects, anything. It's a dumb bottom barrel Christmas movie that they make almost every freaking year. Almost every freaking year you will get a movie like this. Whether it be a single mom and two kids, single father trying to raise a daughter, single fathers, two kids, anything like this. These make Hallmark Christmas movies look good. These stupid wish how hard, wish you knew how hard my life was Christmas movies are so dumb. And the one that everyone always pointed it to was Freaky Friday, which I think is one of the very rare occurrences of the I wish you knew how hard my life was trope done right. I feel like that's one of the few times it's done right and it's been very well accepted. I feel like it's even a bar for this plot point of movie genre. But seriously, I hate... I, 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 I don't normally comment on branded TikToks, which is obviously where I found this thing on TikTok. I normally don't comment on these videos. I just see the ad and skip right through them. I saw this hunk of crap. I had to comment that this is generic. This is boring. This is stupid. You are wasting an actor, an actress, a director, a screenwriter. You are wasting time with this movie. So do not watch this movie. Do not try to hate watch this movie. Don't even watch this movie because I'm telling you to not watch it. If you see on your TV guide next month, in December, 
if you see Christmas Switch, do not watch it. I don't even know if this is a Netflix. If you're on Netflix and you see the thing, don't watch it. Make this to where it's lower than both DBE and Velma. It deserves it for being this lazy. I mean, my God, it's just ridiculous how lazy something can be and get away with it. Also, while I'm on something like this, I want to talk about something that I have been wanting to talk about for, actually... Okay, I know that I've been saying that this video will come up very soon, and I kind of procrastinate. I promise, first video of December will be something Marvel-related. I'll just say that as a talk about Marvel, because I've been wanting to get this off my freaking chest, at least on video, for a good while. So, tomorrow, I'll definitely say before I go to work, so around... More likely 9 or 10 a.m. I will make a video. So, I mean, truly when it comes to this movie, what else is there to say? Family dysfunction. Makes wish that they wish they knew how hard the other lived. Be as Christmas magic. Life sucks now. Family finds out how hard the others live. Resolution. Bodies back. Happy Christmas ending. I mean... Okay, I'll give it this one half point. The most interesting thing in this movie seems to be that the dog and the baby have also switched. That, I guess, is interesting. But not interesting enough to make me watch this thing. You get point five points on a scale of ten. You get point five. You get half a point. Take it. I knew this wasn't going to be a long video. But I just, this, I don't know, this movie is doomed to truly fail. And it's, I don't know when it comes out. Later, guys.